Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into Crypto ZX. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel today. To all my viewers watching my video right now, can I please ask you guys to smash that like button and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. This does help out the channel tremendously and it also keeps me motivated on making videos for you guys. But with that being said, let's jump right in today's content. Just a quick reminder for all my viewers and that is guys, if you guys have not joined the Telegram group chat guys, what are you waiting for? It's free to join, link in the description box below. We talk about cryptocurrencies, the latest news and trends revolving around the space and just have a great time at the end of the day so come join the group and let's build this community together now let's jump right in today's content all right guys before i begin i would like to say the disclaimer Anything on this channel should not be taken as financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. Cryptocurrencies are super volatile, so please do your own due diligence and research before investing in these markets. Looking at the overall crypto market cap today, we're currently sitting at $1.68 trillion. We're down 4.9% in the last 24 hours. Meanwhile, BTC dominance is currently sitting at 39.9%. Looking at the overall markets, guys, especially in the last 24 hours, you guys can see we are still in, you know, a deep red across the board. And this is not coming as a surprise to me right now. Uh, obviously, we started to see uh, the market go towards the downwards trend as soon as uh, Elon Musk tweet came out just, uh, you know, two days ago, which really did uh, make a lot of people panic as to if Elon Musk is talking bad about cryptocurrencies, what exactly is going on, did he sell his bitcoins. Um, so, you know, Wales did uh, take a massive advantage of that tweet. Uh, and, um, you know, since then, markets are starting to recover slowly, but we still need to keep our eyes on Bitcoin, guys. And, you know, we will later look into Bitcoin charts to see what is going on and make a conclusion as to what could happen in the next coming days. Uh, but today, guys, I, I want to focus more on Polygon Matic. All right, guys, so my Matic family, if we're looking at a Matic's price right now, we're currently sitting at $1.56. We're down 6.6% .6 in the last 24 hours in USD comparative, and we're also down 2.4% in BTC and 3.5% ETH comparative in just the last 24 hours. Uh, Polygon's uh, current, uh, you know, rank on uh, coin market cap and on coin gecko is at that top 16 spot. Market cap right now is 8.1 billion dollars. Meanwhile, 24-hour trading volume is at 1.7 billion dollars. Zooming out and looking at the bigger picture, guys, please keep this in mind uh, because. You know, this will later on uh, get you guys a better understanding as to what is going on when we do look at the charts. In the last year alone, Polygon is still up, guys, 7,500%. And even in the last 30 days, uh, you know, we're up 106%. Even though we're seeing so much uncertainty in the markets occur right now. But despite that fact, Polygon has been holding very, very strong and we can see that right in front of us. So now let's deep dive into the charts and see what's going on and where we could be going in the immediate short term. So as you guys can see right now, guys, you know what? Let me bring out the Fibonacci retracement level right off the bat so we can get right into the analysis. So as you guys can see, just give me one second. All right. Uh, so one thing I want to point out uh, to you guys is if we do measure it from the all-time highs, we're currently down 42.2%. Uh, uh, please remember what has been occurring in the markets over the last few weeks we have been seeing a lot of uncertainty in the markets especially after this drop uh, that we did see after that elon musk tweet came out and the china fund which did take the markets towards the downwards trend uh we were uh sitting at literally close to all-time highs at two dollars 69 cents and that tweet came out uh you know where he said we will no longer be accepting bitcoin and then obviously the china fund which really did take the markets toward the downwards trend we saw a uh, matic fall down 70 you know 2.5 percent guys this really did shake off a lot of newcomers coming into the markets they really did get scared but despite that fact guys you guys can see matic had a nice recovery towards the upside we went all the way up to uh, you know the 23.6 fibonacci retracement level and we got rejected at this level of resistance and matic had you know a recovery of 233.2 percent guys and please remember when markets are tanking, you know, there's a lot of fear across the board. And right now, we're still seeing altcoins way below uh, their all-time highs. They're sitting at 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level. And then there was this one coin that was catching headlines after headlines after headlines. And that was none other than Matic Polygon. So that goes to show, guys, you know, I have been reading so many comments lately 
It's absolutely mind blowing. I've been reading so many comments coming in. You know, Matic is not doing anything. Matic is so boring. Uh, like this is it. Um, that's it for Matic. The run is over. But guys, 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 please let's keep it realistic out here. Please zoom out. That's my you know answer to you guys. Zoom out and look at the bigger picture. It is one of the most strongest projects this bull cycle and it is holding very very strongly compared to Bitcoin's price momentum which is very rare to see and that is a bullish indicator on its own. And now if we do see some sort of price momentum go towards the downside, everyone starts panicking and start making claims as to like, you know, Matic has not done anything. Let's not ignore that it's up 7,000, you know, I believe, let's go back and double check, 7,500% even after seeing a, you know, 40% uh, percent, uh, you know, drop from its all-time highs. And this is very, very healthy. And right now we are trading within this 0.50 fib uh, 50 Fibonacci retracement level, as you guys can see. This does tend to be a very crucial level of support uh, whenever we use this retracement tool for any, you know, asset class. So, um, you know, I do like us sitting in here and we did uh, go down towards the downside at $1.51, which is a level of support, but we did have a bounce back up since then. Uh, or as soon as that Bitcoin uh, price uh, crashed, we did see when Elon Musk made the tweet two days ago, we did see all the um, um, market go towards the downside. And obviously, Matic is not... Uh, an exception but since then you guys can see it has recovered very easily so these are projects that uh, you know recover very very fast after a crash guys goes to show how big uh, you know the community is and you know it also goes to show that there's a more retail investors invested in these uh, coins rather than whales they can you know um, they don't have that much power to manipulate these uh, coins and Matic is by far one of the most hyped valuable there's you know solving the ethereum scalability issue that has been such a big problem for the longest time and that has been gaining a lot of traction for Matic not only from the uh, you know retail side but from the institutional side uh, as well and you know we have some big billionaires coming out such as a Mark Cuban uh, coming out and say he supports Matic and uh, you know Polygon and that is huge itself and you know they have everything they, they need for it to succeed um, you know the exchanges are there liquidity liquidity is not a problem community is there big backers are there hype is there everything is there for it to succeed and we have been seeing that happen so guys the moral of the story is you know I have been seeing tons of new people coming into the markets I know um, you know you guys want to see markets go up straight forever in one line but guys let's keep it realistic here and you know i am by far one of the channels that will always keep it realistic no matter what and you know if you're coming new in the markets guys markets do not go forever up you know to the straight uh, you know to the moon that does not happen even if we are going towards and having a very nice upwards trend as you guys can see Matic was doing as long as soon as Bitcoin the king because at the end of the day Bitcoin is a leading indicator of the market as soon as it has a shake off or a crash doesn't matter how good of a rally we're having we will uh, you know, the rally will be invalidated. And that's exactly what we saw happen for Matic. And that's what we uh, saw happen for the entire markets. But we have been rebounding very quickly. And, you know, that is a bullish indicator on its own. We are trading within within this 0.50 Fibonacci retracement level. And my target still for Matic is to get back above to this $2.45 mark, which will be the next level resistance. As you guys can see, we did touch that here, but we got rejected and obviously... Um, you know, it did not play in the favor for us. But I believe uh, my all my odds are still on this level. If we do break above it, we might see some choppiness around here because this is a resistance level. But I believe as soon as we break above it, you know, we are off to some newer all-time highs and $3 is my price target. And um, yeah, let's look at Bitcoin's uh, charts real quick and then we will make a conclusion as to what is going to happen in the immediate short term and uh, end the video over there. If we're looking at Bitcoin's charts right now, guys, Bitcoin has been doing some crazy, crazy things. So as soon as we had this breakout, oh, I'm sorry, not that. We need to bring the highlighter in real quick. So as you guys can see, as soon as we had this, um, you know, pop up towards the upside, uh, especially after that $38,200 mark that I have been saying, if we break above that, we are looking very nice and we could be heading towards one of these very crucial level of uh, supports. Most importantly, this $46,600 level. But guess what happens, guys? As soon as the market momentum looks bullish, Elon Musk drops a tweet around here. 
and we do see markets go towards the downside, whales do take massive advantage of this. But one thing I want to point out to you guys is that you know this level of support did play out very crucially we did uh, you know bounce off and then we did break below it but again you guys can see this trend line played as a massive level of support so one thing now i want to point out to you guys is you know the bitcoin chart is starting to look very very bullish and as you guys can see we have been creating higher lows over the last few weeks you guys can see higher lows higher lows higher lows for Bitcoin, which is a very bullish indicator. But we do not want to break below $33,300 mark, guys. Uh, I have mentioned that in my uh, other videos as well. If we do break below this, guys, we do have a very strong chance to fall back down to $25,000, which would obviously create a lot of panic across the board. But again, guys, this is still a possibility unless we get back to one of these price levels. And in order for me to be convinced that we are headed towards the upside, we need to get above $40,000. Um, $39,600 mark uh, and you know I would be convinced that we are headed towards the upside but I'm not convinced the bottom is in unless we do reach these price levels especially this $46,600 mark and um, right now looks like a bears are having a hard time pushing Bitcoin towards the downside and we have been creating higher lows but if we break below $33,000 guys this entire thing is invalidated this entire thing is invalidated and then you know we could be headed towards the downward trend. The bullish scenario, like I said, is going towards, uh, um, you know, the 40K level and heading towards these price levels. And I believe everything will start looking good. What would that mean for Matic? I believe if we do reach $46,000 for, um, you know, Bitcoin, that crucial level of support that I have been mentioning, I could see us go back down to the uh, back up to this level very, very fast. As you guys can see. Um, you know, Matic is a very strong coin and we are already starting to see that. So this is my next price target. Bearish scenario uh, would be us breaking back down to this level at the $1.20. This is the next level of support for us. If we're unable to hold around here, guys, we do have a possibility to fall back down to this level as well. Let's keep it realistic because right now this could play out if we do break below 30000 And, you know, that is not out of the book. So let's keep that in mind. And also, you know, uh, I have mentioned Matic uh, uh, Polygon is uh, proof of consensus. Uh, they uh, offer, um, you know, their token Matic uh, to be staked so you can earn passive income off it. And right now, 22.8% of the supply is staked right now, meaning it's off the exchanges. Uh, so as uh, Matic Polygon grows over time, this number is only going to get bigger and bigger and more people start finding out that you can earn passive income off your Matic tokens. And as this grows, guys, you know, the supply and demand factor kicks in. You know, there's um, high demand on the exchanges for uh, Polygon and there's, uh, you know, lower supply. Sky's the limit. So we're already starting to see that because this number is kind of, you know, off to uh, uh, on uh, staking rewards. It's not 100% accurate, but we're already starting to see that. Imagine if this was at 50%, 60%. You guys get the picture as to what I'm trying to say. And we're already ranked at top 17. So that is very interesting as well. Uh, but yeah, that is it for today's update on uh, Matic uh, Polygon. I would love to know your thoughts down below where you guys could see uh, us trading at the end of this month. I would love to know your thoughts down below. And uh, let me know if you guys want to see more uh, Polygon videos, more updates on a continuous basis. So I will bring you guys uh, just that. And if you guys have not liked, comment, share, uh, I'm sorry, if you have not liked, commented, and, um, you know, subscribed, uh, I would, uh, you know, really appreciate if you do so because this does help my video get to a wider audience and, um, you know, your support would be greatly appreciated. And uh, to all my regular viewers, guys, your support means the world to me. I really, really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. I love you guys. And I will keep on bringing you guys uh, these videos um, as long as I can. And uh, also, guys, um, stay safe out there because at the end of the day, Please do not forget safety, health, and family comes first. Everything else absolutely comes later. Never forget that. And with that being said, guys, I will see you guys tomorrow. It's been CryptoZX and peace out.